Hello YouTube, this is Dragoli from That's a Never, and welcome to a redstone video that, video that I got for here. I'm looking at this fire here to not spoil the surprise too soon. Uh, this is a redstone creation that I finished some time ago, and I just, I think at least I got it fully fixed all the bugs, so it should work flawlessly. Uh, this is something that you want for a tutorial, just put a comment down below, down the fire, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, could put a comment down below saying if you want it or not. Uh, so yeah, it's just going to be showcasing it. I'm not going to explain too much on how it works. But I'm going to show the creation in action. So, what is this you might be asking? Well, this is redstone. And this is Minecraft. But that's not the point. This is a 3D printer. I finished my own version of a 3D printer. So, let me actually, I just noticed that is missing a few pieces of sand. So, instead of trying to explain everything, I'm going to um, program it and build something. So, let's say I want this here for my first layer. It can print a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube. So, I want this to be the first layer. And then I'm going to build that over here so we have a comparison. So, block glass block. Just so you can see that it actually printed out what it was supposed to. So, now I'm going to save this to the first bit of the memory. Uh, wait a few seconds. Wait for that light to turn off. And it should be saved. Do, 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 do. There we go. So, go to the next bit. Okay, so what should the next thing be? Let's say we want that to be something like this. Something like a door opening. I should do it like that. So, a door opening kind of thing. So, wherever the, a torch is not lit, that means there's glass. So, that's why I'm placing it like this. So, there we go. So, now let me save that. 2 bit 2. Wait for the light to turn off. Just give it a few seconds. There we go. Go to the next bit. Ah, what should the last one be? Good question. I don't want to leave it all blank or just all something. So I'm going to leave it with just one hole in the middle. So we have a cross, kind of door thing, and kind of window window thing. So, there we go. Third bit. And while that's saving, I'm going to go and build it over here. So, there we are. Boop. And it looks like, yeah. Okay, good. So, now it's all safe, let's just reset the bits. It doesn't matter if this is reset or not, let me just set it to number 2 so you can see that it doesn't matter. So, now I'm going to click the print current memory button, and I'm going to just look it over there, and it's probably going to be some fast forward because it takes a little while, but I'm going to be back when it's done printing. There we go. Now it's all done printing, and it's re should reset the counters. There we go. All done. So let's go check out what ended up. Uh, it's actually reversed. I forgot that the printing is actually reversed. So let me just quickly do that. Uh, that's just the fault of me. It's not the printer. It's me. So there, there. Again, this is just for reference. And then I think we had, like, this. 
and then there was just a hole in the middle. So there we go. It's reversed when it's print, or as to what I had there. But as you can see, when we look at it, they're exactly the same. This is precisely what I have over here, which is what I want to print. And if I look through, you see there in the middle, there's two pieces of glass. You're actually supposed to remove all of the glass. And then you end up with the creation that you want to print out. So let me do the same over here. All the glass is just to make sure that everything gets printed out correctly. So this is what I wanted to print out. It looks very weird. It's like kind of a tunnel thingy. So I guess I could like give it this here. It could be something more maybe a trading machine. So someone would stand over here, like uh, stand here, and then I want to give you this. So they would throw it there and it could go through and all that. I don't know. Here's an example for what you keep you're printing out, although it can't be moved without having to destroy it. So I didn't want to go through the entire creation, but I'm just going to show, just tell you what each part is. This here is the printer, it prints out the object. This over here is my button thingy, it takes an input from the buttons, puts it into the system. Here is my bit counter, it counts for a bit of the memory is going to be used. Here I have a little memory or a little wire bus wire line thingy, just some wires. Uh, here I have the saving, right now it's saving thing. The um, save line, uh, total memory reset, which is this brown stuff. Then I have the memory saved in three, uh, saved in towers, three layers tall, and in groups of three. Then I have over, actually, let me go over here. Then I have this wire line, which is just connected to the memory. Then I have a counter here, and a counter here, which just may, takes from the right bits of the memory. That's connected to this over here, which activates a certain part of the memory. On cue, of course. I have the start printing button, which just starts the mechanism. I have this um, detection system. There's a detection system over there. But yeah, that's very, very briefly what each part is. So let me just reset the bit counter and do a total memory reset. There we go. It's all reset. So again, if you want to see this in a redstone tutorial, uh, post a comment down below. I'd be happy to make one for you. Although it's going to be a little tough tutorial like the tic-tac-toe thing that I did. Um, like that one, it's going to be a little tough, but hopefully you will still be able to build it with me helping you out. I don't know what the crap happened there. Stupid. Stiff.